Welcome back to Bottom Shelf Bar. That's Paul. That's Connor. Paul, what are we drinking right now? Uh, we're making a return to Barton with their <laughs> light rum that, uh, well, we have some impressions on already, but the, we'll hold off for a bit on that. We've smelled it. It only comes in a one liter bottle and it's $9. That's right. So it, mm, we're worried, but we like to return to brands that we've tried before. So Barton, of course, had to make another appearance. Yeah. So now... Let's have shot. <laughs> we will be disappointed. This smells, I kid you not, straight, like straight isopropyl. Mm. Ah, no. This is gonna hurt. <coughs> That's not rum. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah. No. Oh my god. Ugh, it tastes <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I refuse to accept this as rum. <laughs> it's so bitter. Oh, shoot. It smells like I isopropyl alcohol and it tastes like isopropyl alcohol. You taste like isopropyl alcohol? Well, I have an impression in my brain of what it would taste like. I haven't, oh. I haven't actually drank it. but. Oh maybe, man. Maybe I have now. Oh man, we're making good drinks with this too, and they're gonna be bad. Yeah, this well, we do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is all for you, the audience. <laughs> we're gonna chase it with a saltine now. That's right. Are these whole wheat saltines? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, saltine on forehead. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Oh shit. Whole grain means lower friction, apparently. Whole grain, all pain. <laughs> oh, god so damn. Close. Oh my god, there's salt in my eye. Glad <laughs> I didn't wear contacts today. Feel my pain. Ow! <laughs> it burns! <laughs> you good? <laughs> no, there's salt in my eye. Alright, 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 alright. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We're, I'm not out of this yet. My hat's gonna fall off. <laughs> no! Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a jump cut. Oh! <laughs> Alright, well, now you can see my hair and Paul got the saltine. Um, next up is a rum and coke. Tastes like whole wheat. <laughs> This is a rum and coke. It's rum and coke. As per usual, it is one part rum to four parts coke, and we're gonna find out if this awful so far rum overpowers the Coca-Cola. I can smell it from here. <laughs> oh my god, it smells so strong. Okay, drink time. Not great, but not as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, it's kinda, the coke is pretty much allowed to dominate. This rum is strangely bitter, though. Yeah. And also, I'm definitely trying to drink this as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh yeah, don't get me wrong, it's not good. It just is not as bad as I was expecting. It's still really bad. Yeah. But it, oh, it's well, a, that's a rum and coke. I mean, it's not good. It's got an aftertaste that's really strong. Yeah. I'm still tasting a bit of saltine, but... <laughs> Then you are lucky. Yes. Uh, this is best served with things to distract you from the rum. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this is best served with a plethora of other intoxicants. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true. That being said, it works with the Coke better than some things we've had. Does it? I think so. It's like, it's still bad, but it's like, if you put enough Coke in it, I think it would be fine. Yeah, but that's true of everything. That's why we have a set ratio. Well, yeah. Anyway, saltine. Salt wheat. What? Because it's whole wheat. Three, two, one, get in your mouth. Oh my God. You know, I'm glad we didn't end up doing rich crackers because I kind of feel like 
Bro, like a Ritz cracker being in contact with my skin this much would give me more acne. I think it would also just roll off your face. <laughs> I just can't get this tonight. Uh, now we're gonna make a strawberry daiquiri. And it will probably be horrible, but we'll find out. Strawberry daiquiri. This is one part rum to one part strawberry demerara syrup to one part lime juice. And yes, the demerara part does matter. It's important for daiquiris. We're trying to dress this rum up as much as we can. <laughs> Oh, this is also the single ounce left I have of the strawberry daiquiri syrup I make for my actual bar. So, so it better count. <laughs> Here we go. Duh. It's fine. We're doing it as many favors as we possibly can, though. <laughs> I mean, I've certainly had better, but this ain't bad. I got a little hand sanitizer taste on that sip. Oh, I mean, same, but <laughs> this is a really concentrated strawberry syrup. Um, yeah. I cooked it down, or I mean, I, I just made it really strong because I, I like it in a good... I prefer it with like a Bacardi with that really crisp rum flavor. Um, but in, in this cocktail, it's really just serving to mask how bad that is. Yeah. The isopropyl alcohol taste is back. But mm -hmm. if you don't take like big sips like I did. <laughs> oh, I can feel it in my nose. Yeah. If you don't take big sips of it, this is fine. But you gotta you gotta work to hide the Barton rum. <laughs> it certainly leaves a flavor, and it is not a flavor that is to be desired. Yeah. The bar <laughs> it doesn't taste a lot like rum, it mostly tastes a lot like bad. Yeah, like just straight bad alcohol. Well, that is kind of what I expected out of this because I haven't had a cheap rum that is actually, like, genuinely good yet, so... We'll keep trying. <laughs> Maybe one day. And I'll keep trying to get a saltine in my mouth. That's right. Ready? The whole wheat saltines look like regular saltines with freckles. Three, two, one, go. Homie, whole wheat Connor. Oh my god. Homie, whole wheat Connor. Whole wheat. Whole wheat. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, why is this hard? I don't know. <laughs> Alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it was so close. Uh, uh, oh, it's on the floor. Uh, <laughs> Alright, next. Saltine Supremacy. Next no, up. wait. Hold on. Next up, you know what it is. It's the last call, baby. That's right. It's time for the last call, and apparently Paul knows what's actually in this one. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so, as per usual, this has everything from this episode and last episode, meaning it has scotch, lemon juice, gin, um, lime juice, Simple syrup, because we only had one ounce of strawberry simple syrup. Um, rum, of course. Coke, soda, water. Um, I think that's, that's everything. It. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and as per tradition, we will try to chug it. And this time I'm actually going to try. I know usually I just kind of <laughs> pretend. So. It sure looks interesting. Last call. Here we go. Not horrible, but it hasn't. Yeah, it wasn't taste. too bad. Ooh. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I feel like the, I feel like the beef eater saved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It turns out using expensive gin and things makes them better. <clears throat> Who would have thought? Yeah, that was the last call. It tasted the way you would expect it to. <laughs> uh, not the worst last call we've done. No, not by a long shot. Saltine time. Saltime, if you will. 
That only makes sense if you're drunk. <laughs> or if you're looking at a keyboard. I guess. Three, two, one, go. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Oof. I have not been even close a single time. This is your chance. I got it. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Congratulations. I got one. Barton Gin, not gin, rum. <laughs> this is rum. But honestly, if you told me it was vodka, I'd believe you because, man, nothing about this is rum tasting. Yeah, I'm super not a fan. I'm gonna give this a one out of five. <laughs> I would give it a 1.5 out of five because, um, as you can see with the daiquiri and the last call, honestly, it's pretty concealable um, with sweet flavors. You know what? Um, that's fair. I'll upgrade mine to a 1.5. Nice. Yeah, I just feel like on its own, really terrible. And if you're drinking something that really relies on good rum, like uh, like maybe a mojito or you know something along those lines, you're gonna hate it. But that being said, if you're drinking something super sweet, or probably a standard daiquiri would be really bad with this. But the strawberry daiquiri, because of the intense strawberry flavor, overpowered it. Um, but I feel like I mean, it's awful. It has its place. You should buy something else. Absolutely, you should buy something else instead of this. But I give it a 1.5. It's drinkable. Yeah, as a like, as a source of cheap alcohol for nine dollars for a liter, I think you could do worse. But for rum, this is bad. <laughs> 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 this is like the worst representation of rum that we've ever had. So yeah, 1.5 well, out of 5. you know, this might... St I think this is probably still better than Heaven Hill Rum. Maybe. Anyway, it's pretty bad. This has been Bottom Shelf Bar. I'm, I'm Paul. I'm Connor. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been Barton <laughs> Rum. <laughs> As always, let us know if there's anything you want us to try. Even if you're going to make us suffer deliberately, we will do it. Throw random ideas at us. We yeah. we do this for you. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next episode. Peace. <laughs> this is gonna put some hair on your chest. Oh good, I could use it. <laughs> <laughs>